Yeah, I started later than I wanted to today because um, I had to babysit my niece, so... Let's continue where we left off. Uh, we had, like, done, like, the first 30% of the Ergothor Forest, and then I decided to uh, take a break. Or I decided to stop stream. And then the first half of the stream yesterday, my internet went down for some reason. So sometimes shit just happens and you gotta do it. Was too easy. I just keep getting stronger. Hmm, well, since we're already here at the beginning, I think it would be smart to go get more cooking ingredients, although not entirely necessary. There's not a boss here. There's an optional boss here. You'll be gone soon enough. But everything else is pretty standard. So yeah, like I said last time, we were here in Urgothor Forest. We're trying to locate the home of the Critia to learn why Blastia are so bad for the environment. Well, more so why Estelle is so bad for the environment. On account of her mystical powers. I can do this. Here it goes. Everything I got. One, two, three. Overlord Rain. So yeah, we're already six days away from. Well, actually, we're five days away from Tales of Arise. I hope it's good. Like I really. <laughs> I really hope it's good. Like, Basuria was just okay to me. It was like... Prepare to meet the your weird doom. incest brother plot was a little... Sus. Oh, look, a bad guy. I mean, you know, it was, it's subtext here, but that's pretty much she was like obsessed with her little brother. To the point where it was unhealthy for You didn't think I was that strong, did you? Yeah, I feel good. You murdered my brother. No, I sacrificed myself for the betterment of the world. Oh, I still can't accept it. And I mean, not really. It, it, it was for, you know, the complete polar opposite of like, oh. Well, we'll just make people zombies and not feel anything because emotions lead to demons. It was, a uh, one of those plots where it's like, well, if people feel, they're gonna cause murder because people feel envy and hatred and anger, so let's just have people not feel anything. Delight roll. That's pretty much what that plot was. A lot of these plots revolve around the absolute extreme of solving a problem. Like... In this one, people cause an energy crisis because they use too much energy. So let's destroy all people and just have nature retake the planet. Piece of cake! Don't get caught. <sighs> Tales of Zephonia. Uh, racism and discrimination is bad, so let's make everybody the same race. 
Tales of the Abyss, uh, the planet is run by a future that is seen for itself, so in order to get rid of it, they turn everybody into clones that don't have a memory of the planet. Like, all of it is extreme stuff. And then with the newer ones, the plots got kind of weird. Tales of Graces, the plot wasn't quite like that. The plot about that, like, the plot on that one was like, um, a demonic... Well, he's not really a demon. Like, he was created in a lab. The main villain in that game. He was created in a lab. Lambda. And, uh, you know, people were mean to him, so... He hates all people. And then he found a friend and permanently fuses with Asbel like a parasite. <laughs> At least I'm pretty sure that's what the plot of that one was. I, was, I only beat it the one time. Tales of Exilia. Uh, technology led to the Earth being destroyed. So... The DUD of Maxwell creates a perfect version of what the world used to be. And then you figure out that you're living in the fake world and you go to the real world and... Uh, also... Gaius is a dictator and wants to make everybody do what he says. Because humanity can't be killed. So there's that. Tales of Asteria, demons are bad. We need the Jesus figure to come back and get rid of all the demons. That was easy. Malevolence, it's called malevolence in that game. Tales of Bursary, and malevolence exists. So we need to reawaken this ancient god that eats all emotion so that people don't feel emotions and, and create malevolence. So we'll see what Tales of Rise comes to the table. Could definitely use some delicious cooking. Meat sauce. So let's switch you over to cake. Tales of Arise looks very pretty, and the graphical department, I'll give it that, that it looks careless. really good. Very shiny game. Ah, oh, shit, I wasn't quite a three yet. Oh, it's all been wasted. The sign of victory. Yay! I'm spiraling, Mr. Krabs. But yeah, I'm actually streaming on a Saturday for once. I usually take the weekends off. But then I think to myself, like, well, is that the best chance for me to get recognized? I don't know. Should I do it? We got a new follower, so that was nice. The main problem is getting the three average viewers to get affiliate. Because that would be pretty sweet. And also, you know, the whole 50 followers part of that. Okay, right. I need to also make sure that I'm learning all my weapon skills. I got an uh, influx of views on the YouTube channel, so that's always nice to see. Some of them are actually the grind videos where we're grinding out enemies to learn weapon skills, which was a nice little surprise. Usually I would think that those would be the least interesting videos. But hey. 
Any support is always appreciated, man. It makes it feel like you're not alone in the internet world. And the people are paying attention to the shit that you're putting out. Okay, put that on. Now we can go back to town and make her those two weapons that will, um... Give her elemental attributes. Because that's how we get altered arts. Get ready. I'm taking you down. Hey, lover, why don't you go ahead and do some of that sweet battle? Ooh, that's a crisis spell. Destroy Reaper Victory is ours. Okay, that's done. Like I would say this is a dungeon. I mean I'm I'm hesitating to call this a dungeon, like for me a dungeon usually has a boss at the end of it, and like I said. The boss for this one is completely optional. It's a Gigantos monster. Those big dudes we've been fighting this whole time. Actually... Hmm. Do you have chain on right now? You do not. I'm gonna want Rita in the party at some point because I need her to... learn... more of her altered spells. Let's see, let's see. This is fine. That's fine. This is what allows her to, like, never need mana. As long as Yuri's in the party, of course. If he's not in the party, you use pretty decent chunks of mana. Oh, great chosen of mana. That way she can learn some of her altered arts. Like I say, she's kind of a joke. Get character. ready. I'm taking you down. Like she's pretty much chat, like I said last time. She's chat from Terrible I think after we're done with the rise, I feel like we need to finish Kingdom, the Kingdom Hearts trilogy so that I can get that off my list. But uh, once we're done with Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3, I think I want to do Tales of Eternia. And if I can use that same program to make a ROM out of it, because I mean, I own the discs, they're over there as a matter of fact. We'll do Tales of Eternity. It was a good game. I really enjoyed it. It's them. Get out of our way. I'll show you. Just come closer. Leave it to me. Can't leave my post. Yeah. As with any RPG, take out the casters first because they are dangerous. Quite dangerous. Oh, that's cool. You can poison enemies. Well, Patty can, apparently. <laughs> oh, I love just bashing people on the floor. So satisfying. Once we're able to get Super Chain 4 and 5, it'll get even better. To worry about being shot at anymore. We might have stopped the knights, but we... Hmm. Care to explain in English? Basically, without a key to... So I assume... No, it's not easy. Hmm. I don't think this will take much time and... No. Wait, but you said... Help! Oh, shit. What are you doing here? Perhaps he is this Blastia's engineer. No, I mean, I am an engineer and all, but I, I swear I- Undo the code and stop this blast yet! 
Yes, of course, right away. I'm sorry for. Doesn't he screw it over Duh. like he betrays oh. us? At least that's one problem. To Suckers. No. What is it? There's a bee over here or something. I don't. Yeah. I could use your help here, kid. Uh. Sure, I guess I'm only 12, but I could do something. Should have known they'd have another one of these. Test one, two, test. Yeah, my. Let me move this closer to my face. I always get worried that. Uh, Yuri. I'm not speaking don't loud tell enough. Don't me you did that to keep me from using my power. Don't you think that was a bit reckless? Indeed. Do you have a death wish? Maybe. Yes. This is nothing. Yuri, I'm sorry. I can hey, heal myself once I get Dane Nomos. Estelle, perhaps a simple thank you would do best. I... Moving right along. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know... Hey! Ah! Come on, dude. That's like solid rock. <laughs> Fast Your fucking we back would be quick. jacked. Please wait. Patty is... Rita, I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. I'll come up with something. Yeah. I mean, what could you do? You're like a 12 year old. Around. Like, everybody's 12 except for like the three years. Well, who isn't 12? That's, that's probably a short trying. list. No, wait, wait, no. Carol, Patty, and this one is 15. So we got three underage people and then like five or six what are you doing? over eight. Of age people. If we leave it like this, someone over age. I'm sorry. That's a weird way of saying it. <sighs> Nothing shines. He's Somebody the oldest at 35. I want to say huh? Judith is like. Didn't you say? Huh. Well, only the living have the privilege of saying fight. they'll oh. fight to the last breath. Words like conviction and resolve don't mean much to a dead man. You uh, okay? what what does that mean, Here sir? I am running off at the mouth. Come on. Right, I forgot I mentioned that I was a soldier in the go. war. He really is a cool character. Though. I love his arc. Patty's technically like in her 30s as well, but you know she was cursed to look like a kid. Japanese weirdness. But Raven's 35. I want to say Judith is like 20. She says she was 10 years old 10 years ago, so she has to be like 20. Maybe 21. Estelle is 18, Rita's 15, Carol is 12, Patty looks 12. I want to, Flynn is probably the same age as Yuri, and they're both 22, so. You're weak. You're a hack. You're whack. A new skill under my belt. Good, good. And also, like, I want to do the whole new game plus of these because those are always fun to do. So much, so much to do. Only 21%, huh? It's supposed to be up to 30%. Hold still. I'll make this quick. Ow. Fucking guy. It's right around this time that we start doing, like, more damage than regular enemies can keep up with. I've noticed. Cause stuff just is like not last very long in terms of combat, which is it's not a bad thing. It's just if you like doing big combos or like keeping like you know stuff on the ground long enough to keep whacking them. Oh, okay, you decided to not stagger, I see. Oh, come on. Couldn't let the spell go off, could you? 
Spells ain't free, you know, unless that ability procced. Um, hmm. I feel bad cooking for only two of this. Well, never mind. I'm not to feel bad anymore because it was just a failure. We do battle with all our might. I was thinking of doing like Borderlands 3 at some point. I was playing that with a couple of friends, but. They only ever get together to play games like once a year. Yeah. Which you know, if you're trying to make a content creation career out of this, once <laughs> once a year, I'm gonna cut it. And it's like I tried to get them involved. Oh, I tried. Uh, before the pandemic hit, we were doing like in-person recording, and then uh, I have a way of running off with the mouth Everyone and being tactless and saying shit that can be insensitive, and I uh, hurt one of their feelings, and it's to the point where they barely even talk to me. Is in fact, okay? if it hadn't have been for our other friend telling me about it, I wouldn't have played this Borderlands with him at all because that dude wear. would not have invited me to play. Hey, old man, want to sit this one out? If you leave me behind, there ain't any place else for me to go. Come on, even Yuri wouldn't leave you here for good. And anyway, you could always go back to Altos. Hmm. There's always that, I suppose. Oh, really? <laughs> Interesting. Well, if you're okay, old man. Aye, aye. I don't know, I feel like they wanted to make it more obvious that something was up with him, even though it was kind of obvious. Just from the... Eh, it doesn't matter if you're dead, man. And the fact that... I don't know how I felt, because, like, you know, it was like 13 years ago whenever that twist happened. It's like, I don't remember how I felt when we saw that Raven was Schwann. Raven isn't here. It's over already? I'm sure I smiled at it at least. <laughs>